my channel. I'm so excited for you guys to be here with me again for another wonderful unboxing video. I'm super excited because this year is the first year that I have signed up for the annual membership for FabFitFun. Um, if you don't know what FabFitFun is, it is, an, it is a subscription box that um, gives you makeup, hair care, lifestyle, home decorations, like all kinds of stuff. You just kind of get like a random bunch of stuff, which is really awesome. I really like it. There are two subscription types that you can get for FabFitFun. You can do seasonal or annual membership. With annual, you do get to customize your box. I believe you get to customize like five or six items out of your box. Today, we're gonna to be unboxing my summer box for, from FabFitFun. Whenever I signed up, they said that I would get some goodies that would equal, I think it was like $120 in value whenever I signed up for an annual um, subscription. So that's what I did. And uh, I'm really excited. It's been kind of just chilling in my floor here for a while because I have had some other things that I needed to do. I have unboxed this one before. I will leave a playlist link up here somewhere. And I also, I'm, I'm really hoping that this lives up to my Cosbox intro box because I unboxed that last video and I will also leave that in a link somewhere up here or down here. It'll be somewhere. Um, you should go check it out, but Cosbox, like FabFitFun used to be like my top and you know, I've been like drooling over Cosbox for a really long time and now Cosbox has like, it's, it's, it's my top box now. I do have my summer box coming from Cosbox, so we will be unboxing that soon. I also have a very, very, very late June boxy Lux that needs to be unboxed. So whenever my July BoxyCharm gets here, we will also be unboxing last month's boxy lux and this month's boxy charm whenever that comes in yeah so i'll stop blabbering now because it's like a thousand degrees in here i specifically turned off my air conditioner so that the noise wouldn't be in the video i'm burning up my face is melting off and this box is really heavy so let's go ahead and get into this thing okay so the first thing we have in here is this little bag and this is the surprise goodies that we got so this is what it looks like this is the little trio, one of the little trios that we got. And it says it's from the company Way of Will. And it's made in Canada. So what did we get? So this little bottle right here is an energy hydrating face spray. It says Cool Fix Peppermint and Lemon. Let's just untwist it. Woo! Oh yeah, that definitely smells really good. It's, it smells very similar to the Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works, like the hand soap. Ooh, I'm dropping stuff. So that's what the little face spray smells like. So this bottle right here is a toner, normal to sensitive skin. Does it have a smell? It does have a, 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 a mild smell, but it doesn't like smell smell like anything in particular. But this is the toner. And so this is deodorant. Yay! So I, I'm actually like running low on deodorant and I didn't want to have to go to Walmart or Target to go get deodorant. I hate going out, especially now. So this is nice. Um, it says that it is a natural deodorant. It is tea tree and pumpkin. It's 100% natural oil. Does it have... It's got coconut oil, beeswax. It doesn't say it's aluminum free. Is it aluminum free? So this is the deodorant that we got that came in a little set. So this is uh, just a natural deodorant. It's made with coconut oil and like a whole bunch of other oils. It's supposed to smell like tea tree and pumpkin seed. And I could definitely smell the tea tree. I don't really know what pumpkin seed is supposed to smell like, but it does smell really nice. I like natural deodorants. I haven't found one that I'm like madly in love with because I sweat like crazy. And while it does keep you from not stinking, um, I, I just I have a problem with just the sweat buildup. So we're gonna grab the next thing in here and it is, oh, I've had this before. 
So this is from Wish and it's an exfoliating foot mask. And I currently still have a bottle of this in my whatever you call your cabinet that you keep all your crap in. I do currently still have a bottle of this and it's basically just a like, it's basically just a glorified lotion for your foot. So I never used the first one, so I probably won't use this one. So I'll probably pass this along to someone who would use it. Um, probably like my Nana, I will probably give this to her because she likes stuff like that. Or I'll give it to my Nana or maybe my best friend. She likes stuff like that too. I don't know, somebody will get it. I just know that I personally won't use it. So that didn't really like speak to me. It didn't speak to me the first time. It didn't speak to me now. Okay, so the last gifty thing that we have in here is the Moroccan Golden Series um, Leave-In Mask. It says it's for all hair types. I have not had this one. I've had the Moroccan Oil um, like treatment. Let me see. Is this the same thing? No, it's not. So the one that I have is, or have had, is in a glass bottle and it's like a, a oil that you just put in your hair and it like keeps it from being weighed down. So I'm really excited to get to try this. I've recently, like this is what the bottle looks like, sorry. Um, I've recently gotten into hair masks every time I go to get my hair done. My stylist tells me that I need to, um, I need to, to use hair masks because my hair just stays so dry, but I don't. Um, yeah, that's my own fault. But I do like spraying masks. You just psh, and leave it and go. Those are my jams. I love anything that you can just put it on and go. Um, so that was the little gifties that we got. Um, let me let me grab this piece of paper that I threw down here on the floor and see if it has prices for any of this stuff. If not, I will do a little like cut scene and tell you the prices of everything because I really want to know if it is really the hundred twenty dollar value that I they said that I was gonna get. Yeah. So give me just a second. Hi everybody. It's future me. Sorry for that weird like cutscene thing. It just felt like the most opportune time to put this in here. But I did find the prices of the gift items. So the facial spray from the Way of Will is $19. The toner is $35. And the deodorant is listed as $12.75. These are converted from Canadian prices. So if you go to the website, they are going to show up in Canadian prices. The Wish Foot Mask is listed at $32, and the Moroccan Leave-In Mask is listed at $39. So that brings the total of our free gifts to $137.75. So I think it's a good deal. It stinks though that, you know, I have got the foot mask again, but like I said before, I'll give it to somebody so it won't go to waste. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and now back to past me. Let's get into our summer box. This guy right here is the summer box. Um, it's not as pretty, it's not as prettily. It's not as decorative as the pause box that I unboxed in my previous video. Sorry, I keep referring to that one. I'm still in love with that box. It's, it's definitely a traditional FabFitFun design. This design is in support of a Special Olympics, so I can't get all that upset. Woo! I can't get all that upset over it because I do like the fact that their art is usually in support of some organization and this summer box is in support of the Special Olympics, which is something that I have um, been a part of in my college days. So that really has like a special section of my heart. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Sorry, am I like, oh, oh really random. I finally got my hair to stand up in this bun. I just realized that I had a bun in my hair. Um, I've been trying for like hours to get my hair to stand up in this bun and I finally got it. Oh, so excited. Anyways, let's open this box because my ADD is kicking in hard. It's kicking in hard. So like I said, I because I am an annual member, I did get to customize um, a lot of this box. So I do know a lot of the stuff that is in here. There are, however, some products that everybody gets that I don't know what they are. So that kind of gives you a little bit of surprise, but there is one item in here in particular that I am absolutely dying to get my hands on because it, 
it was just the first thing that I wanted whenever I saw like all of the previews and stuff like that. Um, so this is what the inside of the box looks like. You do get like a little magazine. Everything is nice and covered up just like in the cause box video. I'm going to keep saying that because I really want you guys to go and look at that video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so we do have our little Fat Fit Fun magazine and inside this magazine there are prices for all the things in our box. Um, I don't know if they have, maybe they have prices for the little special goodies. I doubt it, but please still check out and see, but you do always get one of these in your box. So we'll just put that right there. Um, they do also give you like coupons that you can use. So this one is for Bright Sellers. It is for $50 off. If you use, yeah, so basically in order to get 50 bucks off of this, you just have to go to brightsellers.com slash fab summer sign up and you can get $50 off of your wine purchase. I don't, I have one particular bottle of wine that I like and I don't, I don't change wine ever. Um, so and this one is for Green Chef. I have tried HelloFresh. I have tried, um, what else have I tried? HelloFresh, um, what's the chef one that you can like find in Target? I don't remember, um, but I've tried that one. I've tried Home Chef. Is it Home Chef? I don't remember. Anyway, I've tried two of these and they're okay. They just don't really suit our lifestyle. I, I'm gonna try this because I've never tried Green Chef before and we can use that as another unboxing video. Hey, there goes an idea. Um, but you usually do get some sort of like food, meal kit coupon thing so that'll be interesting last one i got was like hello fresh and i gave that away because we don't really use that but if you do want to use the um bright sellers go right on ahead because like i said i have my one bottle of wine and that's all i do okay so we're gonna rip off this thing like a band-aid band-aid removed Let's go ahead and look at the first thing in here. And it is the Yumi Kim wireless charging pad. This guy right here. This was one of the items that I definitely could customize. And I did customize this guy um, because it was really the only thing that I wanted. Well, no, this wasn't the item that I really, really wanted. This was out of the category of items that they gave us. This was the only one that I wanted. Um, and also I can use it and keep my husband from like constantly stealing my, uh, my phone charger at night because he's not going to want a pink flowery phone charger case thing. So this is basically what it looks like. It is just a cute little, um, charging pad and you get your little charging cable to go with it. So I'm really excited. I'm probably as soon as I'm done with this, gonna go and hook that up. So the next thing that we have in here is by Terraco and it is a foot cream and it's supposed to smell like Sicilian oranges. Again, I'm not a super big fan of foot creams. I just hate things, hate things touching my feet. But if there's not a safety seal, we can definitely go and smell it. It doesn't really smell like anything. It doesn't smell like oranges at all. Like, it just doesn't smell like anything. This will be another thing that gets like passed on. So this is from Tara May and it's an aloe and tea tree toner. Oh, so this is another one of the items that I did get to customize. Um, it was a lot of like a option of some face oil and stuff like that. And I was like, heck, why not use another toner? Because at the time I was running out of toner, but you know, I went and bought some more and now this will just, this will just be, you know, backup. So it's aloe and tea tree and it says it's for anti-aging and it's in a, ooh, it's in a glass bottle. Yes. It doesn't really smell like anything. I'm not about to shake it up. Um, what does it do? It says that, I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients in it. It basically just had like aloe and tea tree stuff in it. The tea tree stuff is supposed to help with like getting rid of the dead skin cells while the aloe is supposed to help like soothe your skin. Um, this is something that you do after you cleanse, but before you moisturize. And I highly, highly, highly recommend, cannot stress enough that you do need to tone and or exfoliate between your cleanse and your moisturizing. If not, your moisturizer is literally just going to be sitting on top of your skin and it's not going to do its job. 
So I'm excited. Let me put this back in here because it's glass and I don't want to break it. But I'm excited to get to use this. But this was one of the items that I did get to customize. And I just kind of picked it because it was really the only thing out of the options that looked interesting. So the next thing that we have in here is from Spongella. And let me like wipe it off because it looks a little dirty. And it is a hand cream and it says it smells like coconut verde. And I do have um, hand creams from Spongella before. Oh, safety seal. And I do like them. They absorb really quickly and they usually smell real, real good. Let's see, let's smell this one. Yeah, so this guy definitely smells mostly of coconut, which is nice. Um, I can definitely throw this in my little travel bag. We do have a, so, in my last video, I said I didn't have a beach trip planned. Well, my vacation changed and now I have a beach trip planned. So we will be putting this in our beach bag so that we can have like nice moisturized hands when we come out of the beach water. Next in here, we have something by Winky Lux. Ooh, what is this? So I have been like, you know the Winky Lux, the little, um, the little lipsticks has the flower inside of it. I really, really, really want to try one of those, but I'm not willing to pay $15 for like a tiny, tiny lipstick. So what is this guy? This guy is a universal brow pencil. Oh, Ooh, okay. Um, so this, it's just like a standard brow pencil right here. And let's do a stripe of it just so we can see what the color looks like. Oh yeah, so this will definitely work out really nicely for me because I have a cooler tone um, eyebrows. So this is what the color looks like for their universal. And I'm actually really like that. I think the other end is, yeah, it's just spoolie. So I really like that because most um, companies that do a universal eyebrow color tend to make it more red and not so much like just brown. So I really like the fact that this is a cool toned brown instead of like the billion dollar brows that we got in, or million dollar brows, I can't remember. But I got another universal brow item in a different box and it's very, very red. So I have to like use it and then go in with different kinds of things to tone it down. So I definitely think I could wear this guy and not have to go in and doctor it up. So I'm excited. I was not expecting that at all. So what else sit him here? So this is something else that I got to customize. This guy right here. So this is the prep rally um, detangling slash heat treatment spray. So I did get this in a previous FabFitFun and I loved it so much that whenever the option came up to buy it or have it in my box again, I definitely just like hardcore was like, yes, hand it to me, give it to me, I'm done. So I really like this. It does protect your hair up to 450 degrees and it doesn't leave your hair like greasy or anything like that. It literally just works like baby detangler and you just spray it in while it's damp and then go to town. And it's really, if I try to brush my hair and I forget to put this in, after I get out of the shower, I can tell and I start hunting it down. So it's definitely, definitely worth having a heat protectant and a detangler all in one. So I would highly recommend this one if you don't get anything else out of this box. Okay, so we have this guy right here. This is the next thing in our box. So this is from Isaac M M Mizrahi. This was an option you could customize, but I did not pick this guy. I guess they ran out of the item that I did customize, or maybe I just hit surprise me. I can't remember, but it was a customization option and it did look super cute. So I'm not upset that I got this at all. This will just be one more cute thing to go on my desk. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna like extra be careful because I know that I'm probably gonna drop it, but it is a hand dipped um ceramic vase so they literally just went bloop and then like let it drain down so that's super exciting it is super cute and i do have some flowers that would look gorgeous in this or maybe i could just play the jugs or not it doesn't work to play the jugs stop trying here okay so we do have some stuff up underneath this glorious mound of crinkly noodles, crinkle noodles. 
Okay, so this is the item that I was like super upset because I, I couldn't see it, but lo and behold, it was like hiding way deep down in the soles of this box. Um, and this was the item that as soon as I saw it, I actually had to have it, didn't care what I had to do to get it. And it's part of the reason that I got suckered into um, signing up for the annual membership. And it is a super cute bag. So this is just a standard cooler bag. And it's not something that I tell everybody in my entire life or on this channel, but I am obsessed, obsessed with bags, handbags, purses, tote bags, wallets, you name it. I love it. Heck, I even make them and try to sell them because I love them so stinking much. Um, my husband actually like told me that I had to get rid of some of them because they kind of took over my whole closet. So he doesn't know that I got this and that's okay, right? Anyways, so this is a super stinking cute like cooler tote bag thingy and I really like it. It is from Business and Pleasure and it, I need to just unzip it. So it says that you can use it as like a little tiny picnic. Oh no, looks like there's a spot on it right there. You see it right, like right in there? I have to get that off. I am probably gonna wind up using this whenever I finally ever do get to go back to work. This will be my lunch bag and I will fill it with snacks. So this is what the inside of it looks like. It is just your standard lunch tote. And is it not one of the absolute most adorable tote bags in the entire world? Oh my gosh. This will be one of the items that goes with me on our beach trip because, oh, can you just imagine this? A blanket in the sand, the little um, caftan wrap that we got in our cause box. I have a floppy hat somewhere, the sun, remembering to put on sunscreen. Oh, the sound of the ocean. I can't wait, y'all. It's been forever since I've been to the beach and I am so stinking excited. So it says it's made exclusively for FabFitFun, so you probably won't be able to buy this on their website, but they do have a website. It is businessandpleasureco.com if you do want to go check it out. So with all that being said, that is everything that we got in our box. I'm so excited because I was really upset. I thought that they had forgot to put that in there and I was going to cry. So let's go ahead and look at the items that everybody would get in their boxes and see what our price is and then I will find my handy dandy little orange notepad and we will do some math. So our phone charger is worth $35 and this is an item that everybody could have picked. Uh, it says all members, so all members get the chance to customize these options in their boxes. So this was something that even if you don't have an annual membership, you could still have picked this item to be in your box. And then we have our tote bag and this is also another item that people could anybody could have picked to have been in their box you don't have to be an annual member this guy is 59 dollars and that's a lot of money for a cooler bag so the next item that anybody could have customized in their box is the dry bar um prep and prime and detangler and this is worth $23 and you can get it at like Ulta or Sephora. Those three items are ones that anybody could have customized in their boxes. So the next items are items that only select members. So people who sign up for the annual subscription, these are the only thing, these are items that they can customize that nobody else can. So I chose this guy right here, the Tara Murray aloe and tea tree toner and this toner is $54. That's a lot for a toner. With the ingredients that are in this, I feel like you're paying $54 because it's in a glass bottle. The next item that uh, you get to customize if you are a select member is your little vase here. Um, this is a, a, the a Love XO Sienna vase. It is $28 not unreasonable. I mean, you could probably get that at like TJ Maxx for the same price or cheaper. So there's that. You can, you can see that like my, my excitement is like slowly dwindling down as I read this. So I'm sorry. Uh, FabFitFun used to be my absolute favorite box. And over the years, I don't know why I keep subscribing to it. I think it's just because I like to get boxes and I like to get junk but I need to find like better boxes. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Anyways, the next items that we got 
are over here. So these are items that FabFitFun picks for you so you don't get a say in anything else that goes in your box. Like it just shows up in the mail and you just have to live with it. So that is the Winky Lux um, Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil and it says this is $16, which is about average. Most eyebrow pencils are around this, so that's not a bad price. The next thing is the Foot the Terraco Foot Cream and it says it is $24. And like I said, I don't really use foot creams, so this will probably go to somebody that I know will use it. Um, I think that's ridiculous, $24 for a foot cream. But maybe that's just because I don't use foot creams. And the last thing is the Spongele Coconut Verde Hand Cream and it's $18. And I know Spongele is a little bit more of a, an expensive brand. So I don't know, I'm on the fence. Like I know the brand is really good and I know that the $18 is not a bad price, but in the end, I don't feel like $18 for a hand cream is, is worth it. Am I just being unreasonable? So we are going to look at the prices of all these things and see what the value of our box was. Cause it says that you could have gotten anywhere from $225.50 worth of stuff to $477 worth of items. So let's add everything up because you know, math. All right guys, so I have added everything up and the grand total of our box price is $257. Hi guys, it's Future Me again. So the price of the box is definitely worth it. I always get kind of the lower end of the price point. It does say that you can get up to $447 worth of product. I personally never seem to get much more than the base, which is usually around $225 and that's okay. I always like the products that I get but it is a little bit disheartening whenever you see how much you could get and then how much you actually get. So I definitely think that if you like the customization part and you pick the items that you actually want, then the overall price of the box really shouldn't matter to you because you've gotten things that make you happy. Like I really wanted the lunch tote and so I did what I needed to do so that I could customize my box so that I could get that. I do feel like the annual membership though is not really worth it because all of the big items that you want and can customize, everybody can customize that option in their box. So the only benefit really to the annual is that you do get early access to that. So you get first dibs. If that's something that you enjoy and you, you like getting first dibs on things, then I definitely would recommend the annual membership. But right now, based off of my first box, I really didn't see any added benefit to getting the annual membership other than the fact that you saved $20 from the overall price of having to pay, instead of having to pay quarterly. I did, however, really enjoy this box. I wasn't explaining it for, right the first time that I recorded this, so that's why you have this nice little edit from me. So I hope that you guys kind of get where I'm coming from. All that being said, if you enjoyed this crazy, wacky, insane video, please give me a big thumbs up. I normally am a lot more organized than this. My brain's just been super scattered today and I just really wanted to get this big box out of my floor and get my bag because that's really all I care about in this entire stuff. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and the like button if you want to help, you know, YouTube promote my videos. Uh, I, I do this for fun. I, it i just love it it's just i just love it i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you in my next unboxing video until next time bye guys